Energy Minister Daryl Vaz has responded to the relief program announced by the Jamaica Public Service, JPS, yesterday. Speaking at the post-cabinet press briefing today, Mr. Vaz said, while it is commendable, more needs to be done to support customers affected by the hurricane. Shamela Pullen reports. On Tuesday, the Jamaica Public Service launched a relief program to assist customers affected by Hurricane Beryl. Approximately 350,000 residential customers using 150 kWh or less will receive a 20% discount on their bills, while active prepaid customers will get a one-time $1,500 credit. For Energy Minister Darl Vaz. Give credit where credit is due. So I say that on the face of it, this that they have released is a start. But I would not say that it's a completion until such time as I get to delving it in, into it deeper and get the real basis of the value of this and the benefit to all the customers in Jamaica. The JPS also said collections and disconnections have been suspended until August 15 with flexible payment arrangements available. I think that is very clear. The point that I made before is I'm not sure that August 15th with a hurricane on July 3rd is a realistic deadline for the relaxation of disconnection. Mr. Vaz also highlighted disparities in reports on the number of people without power. Let me categorically state that as of this morning at 9.05, I have already heard from over 20 members of parliament overnight into this morning who are still maintaining that the majority of their constituencies are out of power. The energy minister says he will not let up until his ministry and the JPS find a common ground for the matter to be settled. There may be additional asks of my ministry and myself, but that will be by virtue of discussions with the JPS management and board and shareholders who I intend to have a meeting with on this matter and more importantly, the other matter of the restoration. In the meantime, opposition spokesman on energy, Philip Paulwell, is taking credit for the JPS's decision to offer a discount to its customers. In a release, he says he's pleased that the JPS has taken steps in response to the PNP's call for action, while the party would have preferred a more significant discount. Mr. Paulwell says he's hopeful that there will be more to come in the weeks ahead to further aid customers in getting their lives back to normal. Shamila Pullen, TVJ News.